behind the eyes. Um, it came because I uh, inherited here in Tallinn University a program called Open Society Technologies, which has very similar components that uh, ICE has. So it was is an activity uh, engaging uh, industry and companies and NGOs in the teaching and combining technologies. At that point, artificial intelligence wasn't really a hype yet. But since our research was on emerging technologies, which still it wasn't even emerging, it was already existing, but people just don't get it, really. So, uh, and this program didn't have it. So I started to look all my uh, sort of contacts in other universities who could help me to fix this gap that, that we have here. And with Tampere University, we had already quite a long collaboration. So we tested it with few courses, we visited each other and uh, exchanged our ideas. And we found out that, yes, we do complement, but we are still missing the hardcore program. And then Lusapona came in. And then we started to mold um, these ideas that uh, Tampere University has on sustainability of society inclusion, equity, accessibility, and these kind of things, and hours of different design methods, uh, citizen activity, uh, data, not from the programming side, but how data is affecting uh, or impacting uh, societies, and then uh, what kind of actually programming uh, we would need uh, so that people could really do all this future students could really hands-on do something. And then we started to collect all kinds of uh, associate partners from industry and NGOs that could back it up. Uh, so this was partly because of the previous program, but it was also because I'm here a research professor of lifelong learning and digital transformation or digital transformation and lifelong learning in a way. Uh, and we were um, researching how um, companies and NGOs in various sectors are actually using the technologies and what gaps they are, have and how they are learning from each other. So uh, we had a sort of base view in Estonia and Finland what is going on and there was a clear lack of uh, uh, that kind of workforce that is not narrowly trained to do something or educated to do something but who is able to um, across boundaries or sectors and think the broader perspectives of what will happen if we use technologies in different ways for societies and also in one as part of the society and it impacts um, smart cities which is now the hype word so it came like from two directions from the field that uh, we were connected to and from our academic interest and, and backgrounds. And we tried to fill the gap that we felt that it's there. I think that our first criteria is ability to think, <laughs> especially critically to think. And uh, then after that, it is some kind of enthusiast to change to be a change maker or uh, opening a new path or creating careers that doesn't exist uh, and that kind of thing so sort of um, not finding a place that is predetermined but creating the space that that we can really contribute to the society and uh, we found out that this, this was a little bit hard to <laughs> write in the application criteria. <laughs> this is sort of what we are expecting. Uh, so we ended up that uh, we had various uh, existing disciplines that if you come from social sciences, art, human, humanistic sciences, uh, technology, environmental, politics, <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> So um, we are not asking for specific uh, discipline background, 
but an ability to, to grow and create uh, with others something that doesn't exist at the moment. There are sort of, we have been saying that there are three pillars. So Tampere University is uh, providing some methodological uh, courses, but they are very focused on sustainability aspect, uh, not the environmental, uh, not necessarily the sustainability of the economic uh, perspective either, but sustainability of societies and uh, how the humans um, can live their wealth. So there's uh, accessibility is one that is in, not in their focus, uh, inclusion, equity, all, all these kind of uh, aspects and how technologies can support or in case there are also problems with technologies, they are not always supporting or they can better, they can also uh, provide more barriers. They can create new kind of structural inequalities that uh, might not be first noticed. So these kind of things are more in Tampere's focus. Uh, in uh, Tallinn University focus, uh, we have uh, the different design methods. So uh, we have design thinking, we have uh, uh, user-centered design, uh, we have participatory design, we have citizen activity design. Methods. And we have also the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals because this is really needed for both for the environment and for the society. And then we have the EGSs uh, for the companies because this is something that if you want to understand how the society works, you need to understand what is required for the companies that, that they are sort of competing with. Um, and uh, the last part, Lusofona University is uh, providing from basic programming to more advanced programming that are all related to artificial intelligence. But we don't call them uh, artificial intelligence programming, but there are various types of uh, programming related to, uh, for instance, how uh, mobiles are using triangulating different kind of uh, data, how you can uh, get things out of that. Um, we are actually using it everywhere. Uh, there are um, the data itself, how we can use that big data, others, um, how, what kind of analysis, well, that's a big part. It's about everything about data. How you get it, how you clean it, how you check bias it, what are all this, this process. So, these are the main. Then we have uh, electives that go deeper in, in the social, humanistic part, and deeper in programming, and uh, deeper uh, also in um, sort of combining citizen activity with the courses. Then we have an interdisciplinary project based course that supposedly combines all of this into something really great. We are yet to see how this happens. <laughs>
behind Erasmus Mundus Joint Masters to offer white many scholarships is because they want to promote equality. So also those who cannot afford their studies could proceed in, in, in their life. So this is the original idea. So we very much welcome those who are not only for the scholarship and can actually pay themselves uh, through the previous work experience or because they have a work that is very flexible or something else that allows them to do that. So no, we are not uh, concentrating only for scholarship students.